And we are ready to go. Okay. Let's focus up. Good morning, everybody. How you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing good. It is September. And I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but September is my favorite month in the entire year. And most people's favorite month is their, their birthday month. Not me. For me, I just love the weather, the way the sun is in the sky, the freshness. It's almost like you're starting a new year. And I think that really kind of comes from probably a school year. It's like you can do stuff in September, you know? So I'm back with my Friday favorites. This is what I usually do on the first Friday or the last Friday of the month. So for my Friday favorites, I typically do five categories. I have a home favorite, a hair favorite, a makeup favorite, a beauty tool or a hack which is a new thing that I'm adding in. And then a book or a TV show. So like I always try and stick to those five. Oh, and I also share something new that I am testing out as well. That's kind of how I like to do my Friday favorites. So let's jump into it. My favorite thing to do, and this makes me sound so boring, but you know what? Everyone has their thing. But my favorite thing to do is to deep clean my house. I am really messy. I'm naturally a very messy person. And so my house is either a complete mess, which is everything in front of me right now is a complete mess, or it's squeaky clean. They're my two things. It's like myself. I'm either like super clam or I don't get out of bed. It's just one or the other. And so getting a new product that I love, I'm like, oh yeah. This is the Dr. Power. It's a solid um, kind of bar, I guess. And you just scoop the tiniest amount out. Like less is more with this product. Don't overdo it. And then you just get a beautiful sparkling clean everything everything and anything. It's very similar to, you know, pink stuff, which I love as well, but they didn't have it. So I ended up buying this. I especially love it because there's a sponge inside the lid and then it's this. It doesn't really smell too strong. It kind of smells, you know, like cleany citrusy. That's what it smells like. And then it has a sponge, which ha apparently the sponge has a smooth side and a rough side. They both feel the same to me. I don't understand what they're talking about. I especially love it for cleaning the hob. So I have a glass hob, right? Uh, listen, Davey loves to cook and I love that man more than anything. He is amazing and he is an amazing cook, but the hob is always getting messy. And I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh, here we go again. I gotta clean this hob. If you have a glass hob, you know how difficult it is to get it clean. Not now. Not with this stuff or pink stuff. It saves me so much time and I actually enjoy cleaning it because it gets so sparkling clean as if I've just bought it. Like it looks brand new every single time I use this or the pink stuff. And it's not in the cleaning area. It's like in another separate area because it's as seen on TV. So you might have to kind of look around for it, but if you can't get pink stuff, this stuff works. So that's the home category. The next category is a book or a TV show. I haven't really been getting into that many books recently, but I have been watching a few different shows. I've been watching Desperate Housewives again, and I finished it. It's weird to watch as an adult because you pick up on things like so differently. I think when you're younger and you're watching it, you're kind of just seeing what it is and seeing it play out. But when you have experiences as you grow older, you kind of experience the show differently. All the dynamics between the, like, the different people. It's so ridiculous but I love it. You know, like it's it's like there's so much, it's like a murder mystery drama filled thing, but it's just so easy to get lost in. So I loved that. I, I watched the whole thing again. Let me know who your favorite character is because I, oh, I'm sort of like, I love Susan. I think she's probably my favorite character, but I love the dynamic between Carlos and Gabby. I feel like their relationship, oh, I love it. I feel like they have like the strongest relationship. If you've ever watched it, let me know who your favorite character is or your least favorite character. Davey doesn't like Brie very much. I don't think Brie likes Brie, <laughs> to be honest. Another show that me and Davey have been watching actually is X-Files. Oh, I love X-Files. It's so easy to enjoy without feeling too scared, even though one night I got really scared after watching it. So there's a couple of episodes that are a bit dicey. But other than that, it's a it's a it's a wonderful show and we watch it as a couple. I have a whole alien story actually, because I want to talk about that in, in another video. But I think I saw an alien spaceship once. And I I sound crazy saying that, but I, I have my suspicions that what I saw was an alien spaceship. Anyway. That's a whole other thing. The show that I'm currently watching though is Frankie and Grace or Grace and Frankie. I love that show. I want to be them. These like 70 year old women who are like taking on the world and, and I love it. And it gets better with time. Just like, just like the actresses do. They're two of my favorite actresses. If you've seen nine to five, they're in nine to five. So I feel like that's why I'm drawn to that show so much. So those are just a couple of recommendations. Oh, I also watch clickbait on Netflix. I, I hate 
being negative about anything. I'm just not that type of person. But I found that clickbait was like just off the mark, if that makes sense. It had all the elements, but they didn't mix together, if that makes sense. The only way I can describe clickbait, it's like carrot cake. It's, it's carrot cake. Yes, it's still cake, but it's made of carrots. And if I wanna have carrots, then I'm gonna mash them up with some parsnip. And if I wanna have cake, I wanna have like chocolate cake, you know? It's good, it's just not great. Moving on to my favorite makeup product. I wanna talk about a convenient product that has really helped me with with my chronic illness, which I, I talked about in my previous video. And this sounds really strange, but let me just explain it. Spring water can. It's a very fine mist, but it really soaks your skin. But what I use it for is when my sponge is damp, or like not wet enough to kind of like really bounce off the skin, and I, I can't get up. I can spray it onto my sponge and it dampens it enough to make it kind of bouncy. This is the Mag Canvas sponge, by the way. It's great if you've forgotten to wet your sponge or you just can't get up to go and wet your sponge. So I keep it in my, my makeup case, which has everything conveniently laid out for me. Applying makeup is so therapeutic and relaxing for me, particularly when my illness is really bad. So I like having tools in there that help make it so much easier and this is this is one product that does that. Moving on to my favorite hair product of the month. I actually just um, bleached my hair a little bit. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. And so if there's any hairdressers watching, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I have like highlights in my hair, but my hair naturally has like kind of orangey, kind of yellowy tones in it. This is the purple oil. So basically you put two to three drops in your hair, use it on your damp hair, and then you blow dry your hair, you style your hair. It's supposed to neutralize the yellow and orange tones in your hair. It means that I can really pinpoint the areas that I have highlighted. That's one thing that I've really learned about bleaching my own hair is it's a lot about toning. Like you can dye your hair until you're blue in the face, <laughs> blue in the face. Unless you use the correct toner, like a purple toner, you won't get that right effect. I think toning is just one thing that you can really do for your hair that makes such a difference. I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm loving having slightly lighter hair again which is nice because I finally got rid of the black out of my hair. That was a very long process to get the black out of my hair. Hairdressers wouldn't do it. They literally were like, we can't help you. I'm sorry, goodbye. <sighs> so I did it myself and it worked. If you want a video on that, let me know. Moving on. So usually at this point I do a makeup tool. I also wanted to add in a hat. So this is gonna be like a makeup tool slash hat that I found that I really like. So this, this month it's gonna be a hack and it's using tan for fake freckles and on your lip line. I don't have it done today because it doesn't fall, today doesn't fall on the day that I usually do my tan. I use the mousse tans because they develop quite quickly and it means I can kind of control how dark it goes. You know your, your white line that you have around your lips? You use fake tan on that area and then you can also add in like freckles using like a little lip liner brush. So I do like my lip line and then I add in some freckles and then I might do a little bit of contouring with a two, you know, and then I kind of rinse it off. And what you end up with is almost like fake makeup. It doesn't last that long. It only probably lasts like three days, you know, especially like the lip liner, but it looks amazing. I love it so much. So I'm gonna do a video on that really soon. So that's my favorite makeup tool slash hack for this month. I love it. I think it's brilliant. And you know where I found it? On TikTok. Didn't think I'd like TikTok as much as I do, but I like it. And this is also one of my favorite tans. This is the Sunkiss Express Tan. And I love it because it is golden and beautiful and it makes me feel great. And I only leave it on for maybe like 15 minutes because I'm, I'm so pale. So if I leave it on for 15 minutes, that's enough for me, which with my chronic illness really helps. And finally, I always like to end my videos with something that I am trying, which I will review for next month. So these came in PR, the Kiehl's Retinal Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum. It's a very long name of the product. If you're over a certain age, then you should probably start using retinol if you're in your 30s like me. I was using one from another brand for a while and I loved it and my skin loved it, but I haven't really been out doing much recently, going shopping or anything like that. So I haven't picked up anything. So this came in pure. So I'm, I'm excited to try it because it's retinol. I love retinol. And then I ran out of my SPF recently, but it's actually the Kiehl's one. It's just the other Kiehl's one, but this is the new ultra light daily UV defense and it's the SPF 50. Gotta protect our skin. What I love about Kiehl's is that I never feel like it's a heavy product on my skin. Their shower gels, they feel so clean, but they don't feel like they're stripping your skin of anything. I love that. I just looked at the camera and it looks like I'm not wearing anything. I am. 
I have a I have a sweater on. So that is it for my kind of August favorites. I might do another video kind of my favorites of September because I love September. I just I just think it's like the best month when I look outside. I'm just like everything about September I just think is so wonderful. So I'm excited for this month. I'm I'm hopeful. But let me know if there's any favorites that you have had, maybe over the summer or since the last time that I talked to you. I'm sure you have few favorites or things that you don't like as well. I want to hear from you. I hope that you are doing good. If you are having a bad day, I'm sending you lots of love. And remember, nothing stays bad forever because that's the thing. Life is always changing. Even when we have something good, it changes. So if you have something bad, it changes too. And that's what I always tell myself. If I'm having a bad day, I'm like, nothing stays the same forever. The world keeps going. It keeps turning. When something's bad, it's not going to stay bad because everything changes all the time. So I'm sending you lots of love if you're having a bad day. I'm sending you lots of love if you're having a good day. And I hope that you spread that all around and remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others. You're doing the best you can and I'll see you in another video.